Hey guys! Today I'll be showing you how to create the calligraphy effect using affordable supplies that you probably already own. The assumption I'm making is that you've already learned how to write in a cursive or script style. If you'd like some printable guides or video tutorials, I will have some resources linked in the description to help you out. Also, the basic vocabulary that I'll be using in this video, first of all, a downstroke is the part of the letter that is generally thicker or darker in calligraphy. And these are the parts of the letter where you press down and pull the pen towards your body. The opposite of a downstroke is an upstroke, and these will be light and thin, and they're when you're pushing the pen away from you. These techniques will all require a bit of practice to master, especially if you are a beginner to calligraphy, you'll need to work on developing your hand dexterity and improving your ability to apply even pressure. It's a lot more like drawing than it is writing, so don't worry if you have quote unquote bad handwriting. You can still learn to do calligraphy. Let's start off with markers with a conical tip, like Crayola markers. Start off by holding the pen at about a 45 degree angle to the paper. Then, when you're writing in cursive, press down so that the tip will bend when doing the downstrokes. That way more of the marker touches the paper and you get a thicker line. Don't be afraid to really press down and get the line thick, it won't break the marker. I have another video with more details about crayolligraphy in particular, I'll link it in the cards right now. Moving on, let's use a chisel tip highlighter, which has a tip that looks like this. This is definitely one of the harder ones, so it'll take a bit longer to master. First, hold the highlighter so that the flat part of the chisel tip is parallel to the edge of the page. For the thin upstrokes, use the sharp tip to draw the lines. Then for the downstrokes, tilt the highlighter ever so slightly towards the flat part more of it is touching the paper, so you get a thicker line. Next, let's use a number 2 pencil. This technique works best when the tip is slightly dull. You can hold the pencil how you normally write, and then you just write in a cursive, but press down hard on the downstroke so that the line is darker and thicker, and lighten up a lot on the upstroke so that the lines can be very light and thin. You can do pretty much the same thing with a colored pencil or mechanical pencil and achieve the same effect. Lastly, for pens, you'll need to use faux calligraphy to get the effect. First, write the letter normally in cursive, and then draw on thicker downstrokes. If you'd like a guide to where exactly to put the downstrokes, I will have a video and printable linked in the cards and description. This technique can be used pretty universally with almost all supplies that I mentioned previously and anything else you'd like, including gel pens, ballpoint pens, felt tip pens, markers, anything your heart desires. In fact, you can do this with a whiteboard marker to create calligraphy on a whiteboard. Or you can use a sharpie to label your possessions with calligraphy. I hope you found this video helpful, and of course I will have lots of resources linked in the description. I upload new videos every Friday, and I post pictures on my Tumblr and Instagram, which are both at StudyQuill. See you next time!